Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. By request, in this video, I'm going to take a deep look at the local masking tools that are in Luminar AI. Now, I just want to remind you that I am working with a beta version of Luminar AI, so some of the features may be different when the software is actually released in December. Now, we're going to start out uh, with this image here. I processed this image from scratch. Here's the original raw file, and there's my processing. And you can see that in the Essentials panel, I did light adjustments, enhance, and so on. You can see that the highlighted items are things I've done. In the Creative panel, I've done the Mystical adjustment. And in the Pro panel, I did Super Contrast. But let's just say, well, let's just say for the, for the truth of it that I consider this image done. But let's just say, for the sake of argument, that I want to do something to the bank over here. I want to just make it a little less blurry. It looks a little blurry almost, and because there's probably mist from the water. And I just want to make it a little more defined. So I want to do some local masking uh, there. So I'll go to the local masking tool, and then I'll go up here to add, and I want to add a basic adjustment. You can see that the local masking uh, adjustments that are available as of this beta are basic skin AI, face AI, details, and texture. I'm going to go through all of these. Uh, but I'm going to warn you that texture I'm not very good at. I don't like textures on images, and I never really practiced at it, but I'll do my best. As far as basic is concerned, we're going to use that on this image. So I'll do that, and you can see that this basic panel opens with basic adjustments. And you could use a brush to brush in the adjustment. You could use an eraser to just... Um, brush on the area of the image you don't want the adjustment to be applied to, if you prefer. Or you could use a radial brush, or you could use a gradient mask. Now in this image, we're going to use the actual brush mask. So we use brush, and I'm going to paint it on this bank, as I said. And as I start to paint, you'll see that an overlay will appear, a red overlay uh, will appear. And I'm just going to throw it on that bank like that. Now I want to warm it up a little bit. And I want to add some structure to it. What I'm going to do is mainly pretty subtle. And then I'll add some saturation as well. So then I'll do a before after. There's before. And there is after. It didn't kick in yet. There it is. It kicked in. And you could see that I just kind of warmed it up mainly. But I added some structure as well. But that gives you an idea what you could do with this... Um, this uh, basic, basic local masking. Now you could add up to 10 different local masks total. So I could add nine more basic if I wanted, or I could add any of the others. If there was a person in here, I might want to add some masks, some local masking for the person's face and so on. But um, that's the basic local masking. Now let's uh, get a different image. Let's see. I think, uh, let's go to this one. All right, now on this one here already, um, I did add two different basic local masks. Uh, one of them, the first one, I opened up the shadows in the belly of the bird a little bit. Uh, so I made that, as you can see, the shadows are just moved up. And then in the second basic local mask, I actually just darkened down the background. So I just, if I click there, you'll see the mask. I painted everywhere on the background, except for this corner up in here, I missed that. Missed a little bit, but you get the idea. So that was that second uh, adjustment. I just brought exposure down on the background. Now I want to add another local mask for details. And what I want to do is I just want to add some detail uh, to the bird's head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a smaller brush. I'm going to use a brush again, and I'll use the left bracket key to make it a bit smaller. And I'll paint over of the bird's head, and I'll get even a smaller brush and we'll get the bird's beak as well. I'm going a little bit sloppy, but hopefully you could paint a much better job. You're not trying to record a video while you're doing it. Okay, so we have that, and then I'm gonna just add some details. Now I'll do it really crazy. So you can see when I add small details, medium details, how it's just affecting the bird's head, and that's what I want. I just want to add some detail to the feathers in the bird's head. Not a lot, again, just a little bit. 
There's before, and there is after. There it is. Maybe a little more than that. Even. And that's it. So that is local details masking in uh, Luminar AI. All right, let's go to this image here. Now, in this image here, um, I did some composition. I cropped it a little bit from the top. I did some light adjustments, and that's really all I did to the entire image. Now, I want to do some adjusting to their faces. So, typically, you would go to the portrait panel, and let's say I go to face, and let's say even I add a face light, right? It's going to affect all four faces. So, really, everything I do with the global adjustments will affect everything. So I could use local adjustments and adjust just one person at a time. So add four different local adjustments to affect each of the four people in this image individually. But remember, you're limited to 10 local adjustments. So what I can do is I could use one global adjustment for one person by using a mask. You could see there's a mask adjustment there. So what I'll do is I'll do this one on the guy furthest back. You can see his face is the darkest. So I'll put up a face light. You can see how it's brightening everyone's. But then what I do is I'll get this local mask, this uh, brush mask I want to use, and I'm just going to paint it on his face. Now you can see as soon as I click with the left mouse button, it darkened everyone else's face. It removed that face light from everyone's face but his. So I could come in here and just kind of equalize it a little bit because he was furthest away from the, the light. So we'll make that a little better. Um, I don't need to slim his face. Now I could do his eyes as well. Uh, uh, so I could come in here and I could... Um, he has brown eyes, but they're very dark. So I'm just going to add a brown iris to them. And you can see it only affected his eyes. It didn't affect anyone else's eyes. Uh, let me come in and close that down. There we go. And uh, so we'll bring it down just a little bit. We'll add an iris flare to his eyes. And I'm not going to enlarge his eyes at all. Let me bring that down even a little more. Uh, so th those are his eyes. Um, nothing I want to do with his mouth. Now I could go to the skin AI as well. Now this will have its own mask uh, because... Uh, it's a separate adjustment from the face AI. So anything I do to this, for example, if I go to soften and I do skin defects removal, it'll affect everyone. But let's say I just want it to affect the guy in the back. So I will get a um, brush and I'll brush it again. So it's just affecting his face. There, and I really don't need that amount at... Um, at 100. Just soften it a little bit. We have skin defects removal. If I click it, you can see it's removing a little bit of a blemish over there. So that's good. So um, in my opinion now, his face is done. So what I could do now is go to the local masking and I'll add a skin AI and I'll add it to his face. So what I need to do is just paint on his face. And then we'll do the amount, we'll do the uh, blemish removal, and you, or skin defects removal as they call it, and you can see how it did that as well. So now we'll stay with uh, his face right now. So we're going to click Add, and we're going to add Face AI to him as well. Now I have to paint the mask again, because this is another separate adjustment, so it's only going to affect his face. And we'll add tiny bit of a face light maybe. We'll go to the eyes and he has light blue eyes. We'll add a little flare to them. See how it's only affecting his eyes. Hopefully you could see that. And I think that's okay with eyes. I don't need to do anything with mouth. So uh, these two were for him. Now let's do the guy on the far left. So we're going to click add. And I don't think we'll do any skin. We'll just go right to face AI with him. And we need to paint the mask so it's only affecting his face. And then we'll come in and 
see, make sure it's just doing his face. I'll do the face light and you can see how it's only affecting his face. Now, uh, this was a relatively wide angle lens. And when I shot with this wide angle lens, it distorted the face, the faces of the two guys on the end. So it made their faces look a little bigger and wider than they actually are. So in real life, his face is a little more narrow. So I'm going to narrow it down. And you can see there's a bug in the application. Even though I have the mask there, it's affecting everyone's face. Uh, so that, again, I am working with a beta version of the software. So uh, that should be taken care of when the uh, software is actually released. So we'll skip doing that. But we'll go to eyes. He has uh, brown eyes, but they're very dark. So we'll again add that. And you can see it only affected his eyes. Didn't change anyone else's um, anyone else's eye at all. And uh, iris flare, I'll do that as well. Bring that visibility down just a little bit. And I'd say he's done. And now we're going to do the uh, this face over on the far right. So I will again go to add. And we're going to go to right to face AI. And again, we're going to use the mask and paint it on his face. Now he's got brown eyes as well, but you can see his brown eyes are a lot lighter. So I'm not going to add any, uh, any substitute iris in there. I'll just turn that up and I'll add some flare a little bit at the bottom as well. And I'd say that he's done as uh, we've done with that. So those are the local masking tools, or the two local masking tools, Skin AI and Face AI, and how you would apply them. Uh, to an image. Now all I have left is texture and again I'm going to tell you that I'm not very good at textures. So I have this image again that I used before uh, where I just did uh, details local masking to the bird's uh, head but let's go and add a texture. So we go here and again we could paint the mask with a brush, radio brush or gradient brush. Um, Right now, I, I'll just leave it go. We'll, we're going to load a texture. And I have a black and white texture here we're just going to add to the image. And you can see it just overlaid this texture on the image. And if I turn the opacity up, you can see that that is the texture. Not much, really. But what I'm trying to do, actually, is just kind of remove color from the background. So what I want to do is I want to go to Advanced Settings, and I want to go to the Blend Mode. And I'll change the blend mode to color. And you can see how it just kind of removed that color. But it removed the color really everywhere. So it's, it's still there. There's still color there, obviously. But it, it reduced the color. Like there's before and there's after. So what I want to do is probably now use the brush and brush it away from the bird. So I'll get the eraser tool and I'll brush on the bird and we'll remove this adjustment or this texture I should say uh, from the bird. I'll get a smaller brush come in here it's being very sloppy. All right then we could add the brush go back to the add brush. You could also hold the alt or option key in to switch between the two brushes a little more readily. So right now I could erase it from here by holding in the, uh, the option key on my Mac, and I could add it there. So you get the idea how that is done, and then we could still come in with opacity if I wanted to kind of bring it up, and it's making it even more black and white. Now let's just say, uh, for the sake of argument, that, oops, I want to remove it. So I'll hold the uh, option key in. Remove it real quick from there. All right. And remove it from here. Uh, let's just say, too, for fun, that I want to have the um, the uh, log that, or the you know wood here that the uh, bird is standing on, to uh, not have the texture on it. So I'm going to hold the uh, Alt Option key in on my Mac, and it's Alt on a PC, and we'll remove it from this as well. Get a bigger brush. So we'll have color there. Try to make it a little better. And then we could get a smaller brush and 
Oops. Get the eraser tools a little easier than continually holding in the option key. So anyway, you get the idea. And as I said, I'm not, <laughs> not very good at textures, but that's how you could use a uh, local masking texture on your image. And really we covered everything now of all these different local masks you could add. Now, again, I'll remind you, it's a beta version. Uh, you saw that one bug where it is affecting all the faces that should be taken care of when the uh, software is actually released in December. Also, Maybe there'll be some other things added here. I do not know. I don't know if they are uh, planning on adding any other local masking adjustments uh, to this, but that gives you an idea of what you could do. Uh, again, uh, for those of you that didn't see any of my previous videos, uh, there's not going to be layers capability in Luminar AI, and the local masking is supposedly helping you get around that issue uh, by allowing you to very easily adjust specific parts of an image uh, without using layers. Um, so hopefully uh, for those of you that uh, don't like layers, this is something that you'll embrace and you'll be able to uh, better process your images for you. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.